So you have one hour a day and you want to turn it into 10K a month. You're going to need a plan. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. This is an example of a very targeted niche, non-messy, shelf-stable vegan meals for busy professionals. Another example, urban balcony beekeeping for apartment dwellers. What the plan is, if you only have an hour a day, meaning you don't have time to actually go down the path of creating content, a lot of content, and the time to wait for it to organically grow, you're going to need to run an ad and you're going to need to have that ad go to a lead magnet. Because effectively what you want to do with your one hour a day where you can actually implement this plan is you want to build an email list. You want to create an email list, effectively a newsletter where you are talking to the people in this idea or in these topics, you are looking at vegans, but you want to speak to them directly and create a non-messy, shelf-stable vegan meal idea or plan for busy professionals. Because in the same vein of the fact that you only have an hour a day, you need to make sure that you're spending that hour of creating actionable content for other people that don't have time to mess around. Because if you don't have time to mess around, neither do they. Urban balcony beekeeping. You're talking to people that are going to be interesting in beekeeping. Now, most people, or I'm not sure, but I think beekeepers or people that get interested in bees are people that are interested in gardens and being outside, specifically the idea of nature and improving their environment to grow things, plants, vegetables, flowers, and that nature, or things of that nature. But here we're looking at urban balconies, so people that are apartment dwellers. Again, the idea here is to get very targeted, just like you're spending your time. Your focus for that one hour a day is going to be very targeted on creating very targeted content and not messing around with thinking about all the other things that come with building a brand, but just creating helpful content and then going out or having a platform like Facebook or LinkedIn or Pinterest go out and find your audience for you. Now, this, or you have to understand that this plan is based on the fact that you only have an hour a day, so you have less time. Hopefully, you have more money to make up for that time with this strategy or this concept of running ads because you will need to spend money to get people over to your offer. Now, when I teach people how to build a profitable online business, what I do and what I recommend is you follow the top strategy of traffic offer people. You create a traffic source by picking a topic, in this case, vegan meals for busy professionals or beekeeping for urban folk that want to do this on their balcony. But here is the thing in this tools, tech, and time. You're going to need to create this content. You're going to need a certain set of tools. For example, I recommend you start with YouTube. These are both very doable on YouTube, but you would need to set up and create all the content around this, and then you would need to consistently create content and then get that over to your super simple lead magnet, which is the first step of your offer, and then eventually build an email list. But this is a focus on a long-term plan of creating helpful content over the long term of creating helpful content and saying, I'm going to be patient and really help people because I'm interested in this topic myself. Now, don't take that the wrong way. You still need to be interested in these topics. So, for example, if you are not interested in vegan stuff, you're not going to be interested in creating content about vegan meals. So don't think that you could take these examples and run an ad to a lead magnet that you slap together or let ChatGPT create for you. The same with beekeeping. I really believe if you're going to be in the beekeeping niche, you're going to need to be in the beekeeping niche by actually keeping bees, all right? But if we go to ChatGPT and you break this down, and I'll let you see how I came to this, and you can see what ChatGPT is going to tell you to do. In a conversation where I was talking about vegan, vegan cooking, vegan cooking for busy professionals, but they need non-messy food because I didn't know actually what non-messy shelf-stable vegan meal professionals were or what that was. I just was thinking 
me as a non-vegan, even when I carry my lunch, I needed to be able to not have a messy food because lots of times, even in IT, when I was working at a desk, I had to eat at my desk or eat in, you know, around other people. So I didn't want to make a mess. And also sometimes I didn't have a refrigerator to store it in. So that's what I said here. I just took that angle and I put it towards a vegan idea and it gave me non-messy shelf stable vegan meals for busy professionals and it gave me a step-by-step plan which was refine your niche and audience develop a strong usp create an irresistible lead magnet build your landing page and email system drive targeted traffic was step number five again if you go back to my proven strategy i start with driving traffic but again like i said you only have one hour a day i still think you can get this done and i teach people to Pick a topic and just use the tools and the technology and understand that you only have an hour a day and focus that energy and that time on creating consistent content and getting good at it. But if you go back to what ChatGPT is telling you and you want to follow this, you can run an ad because what you have to understand at this point is you're not creating content to compete with all the people when you do this Google search. You're not trying to out content these folks. You're trying to utilize what they built, non-messy, shelf-stable vegan meals for busy professionals. Look at all this content. You're going to target the folks that are already absorbing or are already absorbed in this world and looking at these folks' content. You're just going to go to a platform like Google or YouTube or even better, a very focused for busy professionals, not so much where you think vegans are hanging out, but where busy professionals, and here's LinkedIn, you're going to see here there are groups for vegan or vegan groups. Here you could run an ad on LinkedIn for people that are interested in these groups that are professionals on LinkedIn, right? And you run that ad, and again, you go back to this idea of targeting non-messy, stable vegan meals or this idea for busy professionals, and you go back to that concept of I have a little more money than time. So I'm going to spend the time that I have to create an ad or learning how ads work and then creating a really awesome lead magnet and then focus my efforts on building an email list and say, okay, my time is well spent. My money is well spent because I am spending the money here on an ad to put people on an email list with my goal to understand that this is a math problem where I have to spend a certain amount of money to build an email list and then have an offer. If you're an affiliate or you create your own offer, you do the math on that and you say, how much of this do I have to sell? Because at the end of the day, that's what you're doing. And then you create an email list and you add enough people to an email list that are interested in your lead magnet or your non-messy shelf stable vegan meals. And of course, this diagram is getting messy as I write all over it. But you can see what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the idea of targeting vegans that are busy professionals. You can see now your focus or your time spent that one hour a day is understanding who you're actually targeting. And again, going back to Google and looking at all the content, one hour a day, you're not going to be able to compete with these folks in the content game. You're going to have to target their audience with ads or target their audience on a platform where they're focused on being a busy professional, but your ad is going to click something for them when they see it. Oh yeah, I am hungry. I am a vegan. I do need a non-messy shelf stable or something I can't put in the refrigerator vegan meal that I can bring to lunch because I work 12 or 14 hours a day. So then you take that and you say, that's what I'm going to do for that one. Then you take this other example you say urban balcony, first you're going to need an urban balcony. So if you don't live in the city, this doesn't really apply to you. If you do live in the city and you're an apartment dweller and you're interested in beekeeping, then this is going to work for you, but not as well as I think this one will work for you. And this is part of understanding this hour that you're spending is diving into what this niche is about. Urban beekeeping If you were to go to Google and look up urban balcony beekeeping for apartment dwellers, you can see the first result here is Reddit, a Reddit thread. But then you can come down and you can see there's other resources. With the main thing that I think or the main place that I think you could probably really have success 
would be on YouTube. But again, if you were to go to YouTube and you were to search for urban balcony beekeeping for apartment dwellers, the videos here are literally people keeping bees on their balconies, you know? So that's kind of the thing here that you need to think about in this time that you're spending, this hour a day, going back and saying, okay, these are the things or these are my ideas, right? I'm interested in vegan meals, but I'm interested in non-messy shelf-stable vegan meals for busy professionals. There's definitely 10K a month there if you want to go find the audience. Now, the problem and the issue is, again, the one hour that you have, you have to be immersed in that. But you could spend the one hour getting really good at running ads and finding or targeting an audience that is already out there consuming content, but you are creating a very, very targeted solution for these busy professionals. The beekeeping, I use it as an example because I want to make sure that you understand. And the focus here really is on what do you have more time or money to get to that 10K and understand that if you only have one hour a day, then the time to get to 10K a month is going to be one hour today, one hour tomorrow. You're going to need multiple days in a row to create or to think about how to generate traffic. So you can either do that following what we've covered here and think about targeting a very specific group with an ad or getting good at spending your money efficiently to find a target audience and then build an email list and then giving them the information they're looking for. So more of a transactional type business where you find an audience, give them information and send them to the information and have them purchase it versus if you were to go to the beekeeping route, this probably fits more with what I teach as far as my top strategy where I start with traffic and you actually build out content, helpful content where you would actually show people. And this could be done very simply. I mean, you could use your phone and set up a beehive and start keeping bees in your apartment or outside your apartment on your balcony and videotape that experience and that journey. And technically you could do that as well with an hour a day, but these are the options that you have. And this is a realistic view of taking one hour a day and going to 10K a month online to build a profitable online business. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.